it's Sheree. What's up? Back with another video. As you can see from the title, sis, we'll be going over my Sephora haul. I'm like, is it in the frame? Is it the frame? We'll be going over my Sephora haul. I didn't pick up that much compared to the girlies that be dropping bands at Sephora. Sephora don't need my money, okay? But I did pick up some things I've been wanting to try for a while. I may do a second order because I do want to also pick up some of my favorites and like different shades and stuff so we'll see if i actually do another haul but this was my first initial haul or first initial purchase when the sale started on friday when this video goes up it's going to be monday it literally just came today today is sunday okay so far with the shipping because sometimes mm, sometimes the shipping be a little ghetto okay sometimes the stuff don't ship fast but two days that's amazing so i'm ready to dive in i don't necessarily remember what i picked up but i picked up some things so we're gonna go into it and if my wig looks like it's sitting on my head it's because it is my base is some chunky twist it's almost wash day and they're super puffy at this point so i slapped it on and prayed and did my eyebrows who gonna check me okay so let's see what I got before I get into the things I should say that this year I didn't have the time energy nor bandwidth to actually do a recommendations video hopefully I'll be able to knock one out in the spring but for now I did do a shopping list all of my recommendations for the sale you can click the link down below and see all the things I recommend if you can find better sales at like Ulta other retailers I didn't link them like I love the fresh soy cleanser for instance but I don't link it at Sephora just because it's always half off at Ulta so 20% is good but it's not amazing you know it's all right and 50% obviously is way better so if I know there's sales that are better I didn't link my favorite things if that makes sense so you may see things that i rave about that you don't see on the list it's not because i don't love that shit. i still love that shit. it's just i want to make sure you're getting the best savings ever especially if you're only getting 20 percent. some of y'all only getting 15 percent at 10 percent, i'm not even sure it's worth shopping the sale true tea um you can probably get better deals with the brands of course there's a caveat to that um, which is the shipping threshold with Sephora everything ships free So you got to do the math on what's gonna work better for you and your pockets and your situation Anywho, we're gonna get into it But if you are new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face Definitely make sure to subscribe so you can stick around give this video a thumbs up a like goes such a long way to support my channel I will also link everything down below if you're persuaded motivated or inspired to buy anything based on my recommendation I always ask that you click a link and save a life it really does help my channel it creates more content like this and i would love you forever don't purchase ish you don't need but if you do want to pick something up click it on my links let's brands know that i'm putting you on and it keeps me creating content i know every creator says this but it's because it's true the pat mcgrath labs skin fetish sublime perfection Blurring under eye powder, sis. This is giving Shea Moisture Deep Conditioner names, okay? So I got her. It's packaged like this, which is super, super cute. Definitely going to use that today. I still love my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Um, I still recommend it, but I wanted to try this one because people rave about this. And I've never tried anything from Pat McGrath. And because this is a black-owned company, I thought it was time. So the packaging is so, it's so unique. It's so different. But that's what it actually looks like. Hopefully you can see that. I can't tell because I'm blind. And I got the color deep. They also have a yellow. But I didn't want that because I don't really like yellow under eyes. So that actually looks pretty good. We'll see what it looks like on. Next up is the In Beauty Project Face Glaze Bronze Gel Cream. This is supposed to give you a glow. You can use it by yourself without makeup. You can use it as a primer. You can use it as a mixing medium with foundation. I've heard good things about this. So we're going to see what exactly it's hitting for. That's what it looks outside of the box i'm hoping it gives me a nice beautiful glow so we'll see what that does sephora collection best skin ever concealer i did pick this up last sale it is right here i picked up the color 33.5 y for the last sale but i wanted to get a what is it 
a match a a foundation match a concealer match just to color correct my dark circles and my dark marks obviously I have super dark eyelids I wanted something that was not only going to cover but correct my darkness hopefully this will do that so we will see I love this concealer I use it all the time mixed with one of my other favorite powders like my my under eyes will not move it is actually magic and it's super affordable all Sephora collection will be 30% off the Sephora collection is literally the best sale of this entire event because it's already affordable and then you tack on 30% and it's super savings highly recommend you check out the Sephora collection I've been waiting for this for a minute one size now has their ultra pink powder in a mini they've had the full size for a while now but it takes me forever to go through any makeup product so that so if I can get it in a mini I certainly will so for I guess for the Sephora event they came out with a mini size because the last one I had in like the transparent universal shade that lasted me a little over a year so I don't need to ever get like a big of anything so especially because these like makeup products really only last a year we'll be having them for decades but they're really only supposed to last a year so I got the little baby one isn't she cute she's so cute she so cute and I've never tried a pink powder before I'm a like universal transparent person I used to love yellow but pink is new for me so we're gonna be trying pink for the first time today not sure if you can see that but yes I also got another pink powder because I wanted to compare them and this is the Huda Beauty a uh, pink powder it's super bright and my lighting isn't even that bright but you know all this all these products are so reflective so the Huda Beauty pink powder this is Huda Beauty in cherry blossom cake if you've tried any of these powders definitely let me know what you think one size is definitely a little bit brighter um, but both of them are coming off much brighter in person than they are on camera I'm never gonna always get the exact the exact thing you know also picked up the NARS light reflecting eye brightener I've heard a lot of good things about this I'm not having high super hopes for it just because a lot of folks that like rave about eye brighteners don't have as dark circles as I do I got the color Sunfire and I'm hoping that it gives that's what the packaging looks like I'm really hoping that it gives but you just never freaking know. The color looks great. So let's see what the coverage is like. You, know, you can always return to Sephora up to 60 days, 30 days for a full refund. And then after 30 days, you get a store credit. So never be afraid to return. I know some people are weird about returning, but not me. <laughs> not me. Also picked up from Huda the full filter color corrector. This came out a few months ago and I've heard really good things about this. And I've been really disappointed by all of the color correcting products I've tried. So I'm really hoping this one gives something. We gonna hope and pray for that, y'all. I mean, this is supposed to have like super coverage. So I'm hoping it actually does. And that's what it looks like. Super orange. Also picked up the Kosas Cloud Set. I've heard this is the best powder ever. So I wanted to try it out. Um, they have minis, and you know what thing about me? I love a good mini. And I got it in the color pillowy. That's what it looks like. Like super cute packaging. If it comes in a mini, I'ma get it in a mini. It's kind of light. Pillowy is light, but I think this is the darkest color in a mini. But this is this is giving, this is giving light skin. So I might just have to get the full size. I don't know. Um. We'll see. We'll see how that actually works out. And this was a last minute thing that I threw in the cart because of um, Tara Brown. Tara Brown, I watched her recommendations video and she said that this uh, Sephora Collection eyeshadow in the color Colorful is better than Urban Decay Space Cowboy and y'all should already know I stand Urban Decay Space Cowboy I did a head-to-head -head with some dupes in my previous video if you haven't seen that video you should definitely check it out 
Urban Decay Space Cowboy 1. Okay, but you can see the other products I compared it to. That is what the eyeshadow looks like. So, definitely not similar to it, but she says this is more flattering on brown skin. I will be the judge of that. So, let's start first with the In Beauty Project Primer. Let's see what it looks like. A little swipe here. Swipe here. It's not really doing much for me on my dark skin that I thought it would. I thought it was going to give me like a no makeup bronze evenness. And it's not really doing that. I'm going to put on a second layer to see what it's giving. Yeah, I'm probably going to take that back. But on me with deeper dark skin, it like added a little bit of a glow. But nothing I can't really achieve with sunscreen that I'm going to put on anyway. So... Let's go in. I really want to try the Sephora collection because I love it. Um, but I may just put that on pause right quick and actually use the color corrector. So we're going to first try the one from NARS. We're going to use it on my right side. See if it's going to actually cover. It's actually creamy. I've tried the NARS um, soft matte and I didn't love it. But I tried it in the store. Maybe if I actually bought it and took it home and played with it my experience would be different oh this is wait hold on wait nars hold on hold on because the way my dark marks disappeared charlotte who bobby brown who y'all remember how charlotte and Bobby Brown had me looking. Should I replay the madness? I'm not. I'm gonna make you go and watch those videos. Wait. This reminds me of what Mac Peach Luster used to do when I was younger. Now it's not enough coverage. Cause you know as you get older, you know things darken and deepen. This reminds me of what that used to do. I'm shook I am freaking like talk about no makeup makeup like I literally feel like I can put this on my other eye and go out the door no makeup because obviously sis been working on her skin you know like because that's my biggest insecurities is the darkness around my eyes I've always had it it's hereditary I've had dark circles since I was like in third grade probably before but I started noticing like second grade or something probably had it since birth oh my god oh my god oh for real I am so pressed y'all see the difference wow that's the winner now we're gonna try the one from Huda Beauty to see what that's giving I'm not gonna put as much Cause she looks pigmented and I don't want to leave hair looking crazy. What I like about the NARS too is that you don't have to let it sit to get the coverage. I literally just started rubbing it in and it looked so good. So with Huda, I'm going to give it a second just because um, it's a liquid versus a cream and we're going to see what it gives. But NARS impressed the hell out of me i'm not even i'm not even playing right now use my fingers so it's even okay. oh lord oh lord oh lord oh lord oh lord oh lord i'm gonna put a little bit more because at this point i don't need nobody but nars Bloop. So let's try to blend it out with my fingers. I don't know if I like orange corrector because I just feel like it gets messy. Let me try the brush because the finger is stressing me out. The Huda one is okay. It obviously is orange because it's a corrector. So I would see what happens when I layer 
something on top let's go in with some foundation i'm gonna use the dior backstage this is the older formula i thought i lost this y'all but i found it after forever <laughs> years <laughs> i found it and i'm still gonna use it and i've been using it for the past few weeks and she is beautiful like me she is gorgeous and you can layer it you can do a very light and wear it more like a tinted moisturizer or you can apply it heavily more like a foundation and she's going to give regardless okay and she's going to give every time and on a pile Un un unapologetically so Dior was in their bag when they made this one if you have the old formula in your collection and you haven't picked it up in a while this is your reminder that DD is gonna do it every time now I'm gonna go in with my fave the Sephora best skin ever uh, concealer like it's just it's pretty it's pretty just like me it's pretty just like me and I put a lot of concealer I know the girlies were just doing a tad that don't work for me I need courage I need courage give me all the courages so I'm gonna go in with the Mario sculpting stick that I purchased from a Sephora sale some time ago and I haven't really been using it but I used it yesterday and I really liked it so I'm gonna use it again today and actually get my wear out of it actually get my money's worth so put a little bit here and you really don't need a lot because it spreads really well I think I got the darkest color or the next to darkest color I'm not sure I'm just going to blend out the contour now we're just going to blend out the concealer be so for real right now be so for real Sephora collection concealer is a hit it is a total hit now we're gonna go in with the one size powder on that's the Nard side because it's already a favorite powder we're gonna place the powder I'm gonna place it over my eyelids as well as under my eyes. It definitely looks pink in the pan, but once you apply it to your skin, you really can't see that pinkiness. Patrick is so good. Patrick is so good. So this is a keeper, which was like, that was a duh to me. Like I knew this was gonna do good like I just knew because Patrick don't miss and then we're gonna try the Huda okay let's try the Huda I'm actually not sure how to use it y'all have to let me know if I'm doing that right so I'm gonna use the same brush because I don't have another fluffy brush and we're gonna we're gonna tap in tap 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 in I kind of don't like the component Cause I'm using a fluffy brush and for the mini it's like almost the exact size I can't imagine if I was actually using like a beauty blender so probably not the most ideal packaging but it's about the product not the packaging let me add some Charlotte Tilbury spray just to see what that does I'm gonna use this Sephora collection micro smooth that I picked up last time in bronze. It's a bit light for me, not a bit. It is light for me, but because Dior is a bit, um, a little bit too dark, this will just help to bring everything together. With another spritz, I'm gonna go in with my fave, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer that I've talked about and raved about so many times this is Nicola four she's pricey but you're literally going to have her forever she has a great mirror too like I don't use the mirror but it's like a great mirror too like it's huge it's big just let me and just look at her like hello are you dumb 
so good. I'm gonna bring my color back. Then we're gonna go in with Patty as a finishing powder, just like how I would use the Charlotte Tilbury. So we're just gonna go in with that. I heard it's very, not fragile, but yeah, it's kind of fragile. So you wanna be careful because it can break easily. I'm taking my time and I'm only using it under my eyes. There's definitely a lot of kickback because it's very fine, which is good. But it's gonna look better. Okay. 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 Okay, Patty. Okay, Patty. I'm gonna keep her. I'm gonna keep her. I'm going to use the Sephora collection, one of my favorite. I don't think I actually added this. If this isn't on my recommendations list, I need to add it. This is the Sephora Collection Colorful Blush. Like, my packaging is so gross. This is the Colorful Blush in the color Fascinating. I've had it, and I didn't really use it. But my friend, like, I was like, what's on your what's on your cheek? She was, like, fascinated from, from Sephora. I was like, wait, I have that. Why am I not using that? So I'm going to use it because it's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. That looks really good. Just like my everyday, you know, I don't do nothing fancy. I'm gonna keep it simple and do the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the crease. Like you literally don't need to do anything else but that. But we're gonna go in with this eyeshadow and see what it's giving. I can see why she says it's like, um, Space Cowboy. It doesn't have the brown but it is glittery like space cowboy i do like that even though it's like more of an affordable single shadow it's not flaking everywhere there's nothing wrong with the eyeshadow it's pretty it's glittery and it doesn't really um flake off i just don't love the color on me i think on like darker skin or someone that's going for like a smoky eye it definitely is a bomb color now i'm gonna go in with some mascara I'm using the milk Kush mascara I've had this since the last Sephora sale in the like mascara set that I bought I'm finally getting to them so I'm just gonna pop this on my on my lashes I do want to get into falsies but girl baby steps baby freaking steps Mascara is on. I don't have super long, luxurious lashes, but I do enjoy the Kush mascara. This is my second time wearing it. If you've tried it, let me know what you think. Now let's do a lippy situation. Maybe we'll try this. I have the Fenty Lip Gloss in Fussy, Fussy Heat. I don't think I've ever tried this color, and definitely not from the Heat Collection. I don't think I need a lip liner, so I'm just going to go in bare lip. Y'all already know I love hot chocolate. I love hot cherry from the heat collection. On me, it looks honestly almost clear. So let me add a lip liner. Well, this is the finished look, y'all. I feel like it looks literally identical to what I did last time. But I'm not here for looks. I'm not here to act like I'm no guru. I'm here to try makeup and tell you what's good. And the takeaways, the hits for me personally, definitely Dior Backstage. Do it. And she's also waterproof. Like, I can take a shower with this on, wet my face, and my face is going to sit. She is amazing. And she doesn't, but she doesn't feel drying on the skin. It's hydrating without looking greasy. I love her. Takeaway, of course, Charlotte. That's in my recommendations. Love her. Um, Sephora concealer, duh, <laughs> duh, obviously. One size, ultra pink, any color you're gonna get, it's fire. Stars. I'm on a staple, I'm on a staple. Love this, amazing. Let me know what your favorite product was, let me know what you think. That's it for now, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be testing more makeup in the future. Because I have more makeup than I have time. So we're going to do a lot more testing. To find the best of the best at Sephora. But that's it for now y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to pick anything up. Don't forget to click a link and save a life. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Bye y'all.